and welcome to another edition of my GRCC story. I'm Dave Murray, Communications Director at Grand Rapids Community College. I'm Kaylee Potgetter, the new Social Media Coordinator for Grand Rapids Community College. Today we are joined by a special guest, Avodi Junga. Avodi is the current president of the GRCC's Campus Activities Board, CAB as it's often known, exists to create opportunities for students to be involved on campus and meet new people. And I gotta say, Avodi, you are everywhere. We see you as an amazing student here at GRCC and you do so many things. Um, and you work at, at in the Enrollment Center to help students in addition to what you're doing with CAB Board. So I know there's a really cool story. So, Avodi, what is your GRCC story? What brought you here to Grand Rapids? Because you, as people will, will hear in a, in a second, you have a really cool accent. So <laughs> you did not, you were not from Michigan originally. So tell us where you're from and then, and then what brought you to Grand Rapids? I'm from Congo. So um, first I was living in North Carolina, Raleigh. I never wanted to come here, so my dad wanted to come here. <laughs> it's my dad' idea to move to Michigan, Rank Rapid, because he found a job here. So we moved here, and I graduated from EK High School. Um, when I was in EK, GRCC admission specially were coming most of the time. Talk about GRCC and what GRCC can offer. Like, there's so many resources for students to be successful. And they were talking about how starting is so important in anything. So for me, starting is like the beginning of everything. When you start good, you're going to hand good. So I decided to come here in Grand Rapids, um, GRCC Community College, and I love it. And I'm part of this family, and I just love it. EK is East Kentwood High School? Yes. Okay. Um, so what are you studying here? Uh, I'm studying business management. Okay. Do you have plans for that? What are your goals? Uh, my goal is to get an associate degree here for business management. Mm -hmm. And also I want uh, to do the job training program with automotive um, technician that GRCC do all for like uh, the job training program on that MTech. So I want to do that. And after that, I'm planning to go work in any car corporate. It can be a Jeep, Ram, any car corporate. Work with them and... After that, then I can see if I want to continue with my bachelor degree and give me a master degree because I do want to open a business. So I want to get experience on cars and who knows if I own my own car company one day. Very that's, cool. That's really cool. What made you decide or what got you interested in automotive? I was working first in a car company. It's called Lex. They were making car pieces. So I was a quality there. I was just checking colors color for cars, making sure it look good. So I just like cars. My favorite car is Jeeps. I just love cars. I <laughs> mean today. So like Dave said, we see you all over campus. You're very involved. Um, so one thing you're known for is being the president of Campus Activities Board. Um, how did you get involved in that? So I never want to be president. <laughs> I never want to be president. Nope, that was my idea. So I have one of my friends that knew that there was an open position for CAP. And she was like, why don't you go and try? I was like, I'll go and try. So I went and get the interview. And I found out I was the last person that interviewed for the position of the president. The lady who interviewed me was like, you're the last person that I needed to interview, and I'm closing this interview, and I want you to be the president. And I was like, mm, I don't think that's going to work for me. She said, I believe in you. I like your way of talking, and I think you're going to be a great president. Because she believed in me, and that just pushed me far. I was like, I'll do it. I'll do it because I promised to her that I would be the, I'll do my best to be a good president to make sure that I carry everybody in the team and take care of everybody. So I, because she believed in me and that just pushed my confidence up, I was like, I can do it. And I, here I am. That's I'm outstanding. Doing it. What are some of the things that CAB does that help explain to people what the organization does and, and how it helps students here? Yeah, so CAB is Student Activity Boards. What we do, we make activity fun for students. We want students to have fun. We're taking classes here at GRCC. We have so many activities. We are making sure we have at least four activities during the event. So 
So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And if a student don't participate on a Monday, they can always come on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. So we're here for the student. We're serving our student, and we want them to participate. We want them to be there and to enjoy and to have fun. What, what are some of the kinds of activities that you guys have done so far? We have done so far free pizza, and that was one of the best. Because I remember student was lining up all the way, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the pizza, and that was just the best. And we are so student having smart. I would say one of the best things to see is to put a smile on someone's face. And that was awesome. I saw a lot of students just smiling when they were coming to get pizza. And when they were asking, it's for free, do I have to sign anything? And no, you don't have to sign anything. It's just, it's for you. We're here for you. And they were just smiling and they were eating pizza. And that was the best even. I would say that was the best thing. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so for students on campus, how can they find out about what's going on? What events are coming up? Uh, so if they want to find out more about CAB, we, we are on Instagram. We okay. do have an account on Instagram. It's grcc.studentactivities. We have a TikTok page, grcc.studentactivities. And there's a way to connect where they can find more about student activity boards there and how to join, how to be a member. Because we do have... We do host um, a general meeting with our members, and we get them involved in activities. So let's say we have an activity coming up. We always have one meeting with e where we decide what activity we want to have. And then we're going to get involved. We're going to get um, the members involved in it by helping us setting up things in the building and being there, being present, doing promotion. So there's so many ways you can find about us. On Instagram, we are there. We post stories. We have flowers on Instagram, TikTok. So, and we sometimes pass flowers, flowers around campus. So it's easy to find about us. It's so easy. What, what has been your favorite one? I know you did the pizza thing. That was really cool. But I've seen you guys during the summer, you had a lot of activities. And then during homecoming, you had activities. Yeah. And during Raider Rally, you had stuff going on. We had another cop competition. I think that was great. <laughs> that was like the first time um, the student was student had a lot of fun. So they were playing different cops game, and then we give them a prizes at the end. We also have Halloween. Yeah, there were costume party for that, and I saw a lot of students joining in and having just fun. They play, they had a costume and everything. So there's so many activities that we have done so far, and we have seen students being in prison to support us because at the end of the day, we're doing that for them. We want them to have fun, so it's always so cool when you see students participating in it, being in their prison. They just give us that hope that, yeah, we're doing something cool. Yeah. Can you give us a peek at what might be coming down the line? Yeah, we also having a final week's relaxer. We're having that. So on Monday, we're going to have a hot cocoa on Monday. And then Tuesday, we're going to have, I believe it's the board game. We're having a board game. So we're having four events during the, the week, the final week relaxer. And then we are planning for the welcome week. I don't want to give too much information. I want you guys to just go on Instagram, on our social media. You'll find more about what's coming up. But we are having more events coming up for final week relaxer and work on wake. Awesome. I love that idea. Students are stressed and busy during exams. They need a way to kind of relax and Yeah, we are there. We're little. making sure they're relaxed, they have fun. And yeah, they should enjoy it. Very cool. And I know you also work on the student services team and working at the desk and, and helping students as they come in there. What's that been like? It's been a challenging for me at the beginning. And then I get myself used to it, and I just love it. Yeah, first it's really hard when someone come up to you and they may be mad about something, I don't know. It's hard for you to understand them. So you got to put yourself in that person's shoes and find out what's going on. Maybe she had a bad day. The moment you understand she maybe have a bad day, then you're going to take it easy, and you're just going to do your best to bring, do your best to do you and just help that person no matter what. That's wonderful. And what are some of the things that you can do to help students when they come to that desk? Are looking for financial aid help or admissions help? Or what are some of the things you, your team helps them with? Yeah, we do have financial aid, admission, um, advisors. So most of the things what I do, I help them signing up for classes on GRCC online. 
I help them drop for classes. I help them signing up for advice or navigate. I help them with FAFSA too. I know how to do a FAFSA application. So I help them with that. And if I can't help them, I try my best. Someone else can help them. I always want to make sure before they leave the building, they're satisfied, have that smile on their face, and that's what matters. That's awesome. And of course, the student services team is on the first floor of Raleigh J. Finkelstein Hall here on our main campus. So students can come in and uh, connect with folks sitting at the welcome desk, or they can look uh, for opportunities virtually or remotely to, to get some assistance too. So I know that a lot of these things we're talking about, campus activities, the student services can be a little intimidating for students who might be new to college, they might be freshmen. Um, so do you have any advice going through it yourself of students who might be a little nervous to come in and ask questions about um, financial aid or even about events, nervous about not knowing anyone, that sort of thing? I would say to everyone out there who wanted to join CAB, who are nervous about it, hey, we family. We welcome everybody. We love you, and we just want you to be part of our family. Like, the door is open for everybody. No matter who you are, we can make it through. We can work together as a team. I always say one wood cannot make a fires. You need several words, wood for you to make a fires. Mm -hmm. So we need each other to work as a community to make a better community. So we open for everybody. You want to come, you have an ideas, I'm open for any suggestion, remark, or anything that you see you did not like or what you want to see in the future, or any event you want, you have an idea, we are open for that. The door is open for everybody. We just want you guys to be welcome and just join the team. Awesome. Oh, you are inspiring. Uh, I know a lot of people will hear your story and will hear about the things that you're doing and they'll get fired up and they'll want to come and and see uh, what you're doing and, and what's coming down the line. What's the Instagram address that people can look for or what, what, how can people find out where you guys are at on social media? On grcc-studentactivity, that's on Instagram. And TikTok is grcc-studentactivity. And on Reddit Connect is Student Activity Boards. You can find our page there and you can be a member. There's a way you can join to be a member and you can see everything, upcoming event, recent event, past event, everything you can see there. All right. Awesome. Well, Vody, thank you so much for sharing your GRCC story with us. I know there's a lot of exciting things coming down the line and we appreciate your, your, your time today. And I know after hearing this, a lot of folks are going to be looking for some cool activities down the line. Thank so you for having me. You are so welcome. And this is our first episode back after a long layoff after the pandemic. We're, we are excited to be here and uh, tell you all about GRCC stories. And welcome, Kaylee, to our GRCC communications team. Today's podcast is brought to you with the support of the Grand Rapids Community College Media Technologies team, and especially Connor Bardalis. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.